In this podcast, we're going to talk about uh, bonding, and we're going to do a little introduction to bonding. First off, we need to know what's a bond. A bond is an attractive force between atoms or ions um, that helps bind them together as a unit. There are three main types of bonds. We have ionic, covalent, and metallic. Well, how do you tell the difference between the different types of bonds? Well, the way to tell the difference is to look and see um, what types of elements are involved. So if you have a metal and a nonmetal, so down here metals are yellow, nonmetals are green, and metalloids are purple. So if you have a metal and a nonmetal bonding, that is going to be ionic bonding. If you have two nonmetals or two green ones, that's going to be covalent bonding. And if you have two yellows, that's going to be two metals, that is metallic bonding. All right, so what subatomic particle is specifically involved in bonding? It's electrons. Electrons are <clears throat> negatively charged, they're very small, and they're the ones that are involved in, in bonding. Um, Valence electrons, though, are the specific type of electrons that are involved in bonding. So valence electrons are the outside shell of electrons. They're the most easily accessible, which is why they're the ones involved. So you already know that there's three types of bonds, and you know how to tell by looking at the elements in a compound, whether it's going to be um, what type of bonding it's going to have. And so let's talk about what the valence electrons, though, are doing in each type of bonding. So in ionic bonding, you have a complete transfer of electrons from one atom to the next. So this atom over here has one valence electron. It gives that one valence electron to this atom over here that has seven valence electrons. So that's ionic. Covalent is a sharing of electrons. So see you have carbon, and carbon has four valence electrons, and it's sharing one of those valence electrons with a hydrogen and it's sharing with four hydrogens total and you see hydrogen has one valence electron and it's sharing its valence electron with carbon and there are four hydrogens doing that right so it's a sharing metallic is when you have delocalized electrons delocalized electrons means that they are not attached to a specific atom so Atoms that are metallic don't hold on to their valence electrons. They just kind of let them go. And so they're just kind of very free floating up there. So it's kind of like a sea of electrons. There's just a bunch of electrons all floating about. 